गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल दिस इज अ वी टी यू क्वेश्चन बैंक फॉर द इंजीनियरिंग विजुअलाइजेशन सब्जेक्ट यू कैन सी दैट इट इज फ्रॉम द वी टी यू सो सो वी विल मूव ऑन टू द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लैटरल सर्फेस ऑफ सॉलिड्स ओके सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द आइसोमेट्रिक यू कैन सी इन द मॉडल फोर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज पेंटेगनल प्रिजम ऑफ साइड डैश एम एम एंड हाइट डैश एम एम as one of its faces parallel to the vp it is cut by a plane parallel perpendicular to vp and inclined at dash degree to hp passing through the axis at a point dash above the ps and draw the development of the lower portion of the solid so first i'll be constructing an xy line here we know that prisms will be constructed using parallel line method so draw xy line okay so go to polygon by center command select number of sides 5 okay select thick line and here place it with the one of the sides has to parallel so this is how we have to place now i am changing the dimension to 30 okay this is what the pentagonal prism resting with one of the edges parallel to vp okay now draw the three perpendicular bisectors to find out the center of it okay now draw the now give the naming here so which is having both top face and the bottom face so top face notations are a b c d and bottom face notations are a1 b1 c1 and d1 and that is that should be written within brackets okay after writing the notations we should draw the projection lines so take 0.13 mm thickness line so draw the projection lines so axis length here i will give the axis length as 60 mm Six zero. So construct the front view. So we know that uh, in the prism, the front view will be a rectangular face. Okay. now it is cut by a plane perpendicular to vp inclined at dash degree to hp and passing through a axis at a point above the hp so here so from the bottom face i'll be considering a distance of some 30 mm and here i'll be drawing an angle line okay from the middle point of it okay so here randomly we can choose angle i'll choose angle 40 degree and construct the cut plane and then you can extend this cut plane so that it is showing where it will be cut and now using the using this split command you can split wherever you want to do the splitting okay and then make that upper portion as thin because this is what the cut retained portion we need to draw the development of it so i'll be selecting that upper portion and making it as thin okay now you can uh, write down the notations for the cutted plane you can check the angle so the angle with respect to hp it is 40 degree now you can write the cut plane namings so here it is one with respect to the vertical edge okay 
no it's not cutting there actually cutting is happening exactly at the vertical edges okay think it's not happening in between I'll uh, recorrect it okay exactly at BB1 we have the uh, cut point 2 here okay and uh, cut plane and exactly at CC1 okay one it is cutting at a vertical edge A1 and two is cutting at vertical edge BB1 and three it is cutting at the vertical edge CC1 and four it is cutting at the vertical edge DD1 okay and five it is cutting at the vertical edge E1 okay now draw a parallel line so make that line continuous now I'll draw one vertical line here okay using uh, offset command I'm going to offset it for 30 mm total 5 faces okay because it is a pentagonal prism total 5 faces we have to consider total and we get it that is 150 can give the naming here capital A capital B capital C capital D capital E and capital A now we have to draw the um, projection from these cutted points okay one it is cutting exactly at A so that's why a straight line till it is cutting that vertical edge A here one and one we can write it exactly here and from that two two also we have to from that five it is cutting on the E edge okay from the two it is cutting on the vertical edge B can write down to avoid the confusion and from C you have to draw the projection line it is cutting at C and then from point number four you have to draw the projection line it is cutting at D okay and then from 5 also we have to draw an projection line that is cutting at E okay now we have to join all these with this right line So I'll be drawing that vertical edges from 2, 3, 4 and 5 okay to indicate with the cutted portion okay now we move on to the next problem that is problem number 2 is a vertical chimney okay a cross section dash mm circular cross section and a 